Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. In the continuation to our series on Spark into Equations, today we'll look what is ACA and how it is leveraged or used in the Apache Spark. Guys, let's see what is ACA. So ACA is an open source, event-driven actor framework, which is given to create a resilient, distributive and concurrent applications and it works in the Java JVM world. So let's try to understand this definition with the help of this picture. If you see uh, different nodes or green circles in this picture represent different actors in the ACA framework. Actor is the primary or basic unit of execution that is uh, meant to process any kind of execution in the ACA system. So ACA is composed of uh, object models which are in the form of actors. And actors are uh, independent execution units. They have, they do not share across any data entity or variables. Uh, the only mode of communication between different exe unit, execution units, between different actors, is in the form of message passing in an asynchronous way. So the only mode of communication between different actors in the ACA system is in the form of message passing. And as there is no mechanism of message acknowledgement, message delivery is also not guaranteed. But this, does, this doesn't impact the resiliency or the robustness of the framework. Because this framework uh, works on the concept of reactive actor creation. So for any unit of execution uh, needs to be done in the, act, in the ACA system, a new actor would be created. And if in case that actor is uh, slow, or fail, a new actor will take its place. And it is absolutely distributed so that all the actors can do the execution in parallel. Let's see what are the different attributes of ACA. As we have already discussed, ACA is the actor-based model and it is primarily uh, used to build uh, resilient concurrent systems. So it gives you an abstraction or a set of higher level APIs to create uh, concurrent systems and hide all the low level nitty gritties such as uh, thread related code, uh, how to handle the fault tolerance in the distributed system, uh, how to deal with logs, non-blocking input outputs, that all is abstracted by the ACA layer. And it gives you a very simple and helpful interface, a rich set of high level APIs to implement a very scalable and fault tolerant distributed system. Uh, let's see guys in this slide how ACA is leveraged or used in Apache Spark. So Spark as you're also aware of works on the concept of massively parallel processing. Here also we have different executors running in parallel working on a single uh, Spark job on, on their specific different task. So uh, uh, ACA is leveraged here for scheduling the different parallel tasks on different executors in the Spark cluster. All the workers, uh, they need to communicate with the application master, which is a single source, how the tasks are allocated, allocated to the different executors in the Spark world. And this communication between the Spark, uh, between the worker uh, nodes or worker executors and the application master helps, uh, happens with the help of ACA in the form of asynchronous messaging passing. So for this mode of communication and this building uh, the this uh, parallel computing model in this part, ACA is leveraged and the mode of communication between the workers and the application masters uh, is facilitated by ACA in the form of asynchronous message passing. So uh, Spark, uh, I will quickly reiterate, Spark utilizes ACA for primarily uh, building the resilient concurrent system uh, to process the data in, uh, in, in the massively parallel uh, programming processing paradigm. Here we know that all the executors are processing tasks in parallel and the mode of uh, communication uh, and this building of the parallel system, concurrent system is facilitated through ACA actor model and the communication across the master executors and the uh, worker executors and the master applications happens through message path. So guys, that's it in this particular video. Keep learning. Have a good day.